Alright guys, now we're ready for the next step of our guide. Uh, we're going to be flashing either your gray blur or ginger blur. Now, uh, in one of the earlier videos I did mention that um, I was going to be flashing gray blur, but um, to be honest with you, I've changed my mind and um, I really want to flash ginger blur, so we're going to go ahead and do that instead. Alright, so let's get started. Um, first things first, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, either Ginger Blur or Gray Blur uh, downloaded onto your computer. Then what we're going to do is um, plug your phone into the USB so that we can um, uh, drop the Ginger Blur or Gray Blur file into your internal SD card. All right. So we'll go ahead there <clears throat> now. Um, I'm going to keep reminding you to make sure that USB debugging um, is enabled. Um, chances are it'll just stay enabled um, since you have it clicked. It'll probably, uh, sorry, since you have the box checked, it'll probably stay on um, no matter how many times you reboot it. And it, it, in any case, that's that's the experience I've had with the phone is or with um, with the USB debugging is it's always on. So um, you'll be okay there. But uh, anyway, so. For this time, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I select USB connection and USB mass storage. Okay, this is how our phone is going to communicate with the computer to tell it that we're going to be um, uh, playing around with um, uh, the SD cards, the internal and or the external. But this time, we're going to be playing around with the internal. All right. So now that you have that all hooked up, we're going to go ahead over to your computer. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my computer. And there's the, whoops, sorry, as you can see, uh, this is my external and this is my internal. 10.5 out of 10.7. Go ahead and open that up. As you can see, that's what's in there right now. So then, we're going to go ahead and, actually just to double check that this is the correct one, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there's all my titanium backup stuff. Alright, so internal storage, your internal SD, I'm going to take the ginger blur file and I'm going to go ahead and drop it into here. That'll take a moment. Alright, so that's in there now. We'll go ahead and get out of there. Um, personally, I prefer to always um, right click and um, scroll down to eject and eject each um, uh, each drive there. Oops. As you can see, it's sitting in the corner there. It's safe to remove the hardware now. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that down. Now we're going to go back to your phone. I'm going to go ahead, once that's all loaded up, and select USB connection and select none. Press OK. All right. I don't know why you may not have to do that, but um, personally, I just I, I don't know. I just that's it's just a safety precaution for me. Um, anyways, <laughs> so okay, so we're gonna go ahead and unplug that from the computer, and you're going to see here. We're gonna go and go in your app drawer, and we are going to locate the recovery that was automatically installed for us. System recovery. Go ahead and click on that. Now, we're going to be selecting recovery mode. Um, I believe you can select recovery mode and then plug the um, the adapter into the, uh, or sorry, your USB plug into the um, AC wall adapter, but I prefer to do it beforehand, just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that's all plugged in. As you can see, it's already registered on the on the battery icon. All right, so selecting recovery mode, bam. 
And that will uh, that will boot into recovery for us. Just takes a few seconds here. All right. Now that we're in recovery mode, get nice and tight in there for you guys. You're going to be using your up and down volume rocker as your navigation as you're scrolling up and scrolling down, and you're going to be using your power button as the enter key. All right. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and scroll to install zip from SD card. Hit enter on that. And oh, choose zip from, no, that's not the right one. I apologize. Oh, no, it is. It is the right one. All the way down to the bottom there. Choose zip from internal SD card. Sorry, I didn't see that. I'm looking through the uh, camera screen here. Choose zip from internal SD card. Okay, we're going to go ahead and press the power button, the enter key for that. Then we're going to locate either your ginger blur or your gray blur file. And we're going to go ahead, highlight that, and click enter. Confirm this. Go all the way down to install. And yes. Hit enter on that. It's going to start doing some flashing. Mounting, clearing system applications, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, there's the progress bar moving along the bottom there. Now, while this is doing its thing, it'll just take a minute or so. Um, I just wanted to um, show you guys on um, Kenneth Penn's website, uh, briefmobile.com, um, who actually created uh, Ginger Blur and Gray Blur. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what the features are. So I'll go ahead and get nice and tight on that. Um, so, you don't, we don't have to worry about this because we've already gone through this guy. This is more for the AT&T users. Um, all they really had to do is, uh, I, I believe, get the custom recovery on and, um, and then flash this, uh, this PROM and then it deodexes for them and everything. So, um, deodexing we've already done. Um, but everything from that point on is is uh, the stuff that we're look that that uh, the goodness, if you will, about Ginger Blur. Um, as you can see, Gingerbread style. It's got uh, stock Android 2.3 uh, lock screen theme. Um, some Gingerbread icons, and this is the part I love. This is what will actually speed up your phone. Um, it removes the system app bloatware, all the crap and junk that uh, we don't want in there. Um, and it removes the uh, data slash app bloatware as well. Um, some nice little goodies that he gave us, the Nexus S Live wallpaper, which I believe you can find on the uh, market anyways, but uh, nevertheless, he gave it to us uh, right then and there. Uh, it does already come pre-installed with Flash 10.3, which is the latest, which is awesome. Um, and, uh, and like it says in there, with fully, upgra uh, fully upgraded Tegra 2 support, so that's awesome. Um, it's got the gingerbread launcher. Uh, my personal preference is Launcher Pro, and all of the um, custom Launcher Pros that uh, all the developers put out there, uh, it, for me it just seems smoother. Um, the theme dialer, um, which I believe is uh, all black and it looks really slick. Um, the Ginger Blur boot screen, which I haven't actually seen. The, I've seen the Gray Blur, but uh, I'm interested to see the Ginger Blur. Uh, your widget picker, um, some gingerbread power widget. I'm interested to see what that's all about. The keyboard is a nice keyboard. I'll probably end up theming mine, so that's something else. Some um, ad blocking via hosts file. That's cool. Um, stock gallery, the stock clock, um, and some of the other options that we have as you can see, which I talked to you about before, side loading apps, your web talk, uh, web top hack option, which uh, a couple of people have asked me about, um, if, if what hap what, what hap what that's all about once you root your phone, um, that'll address that HDMI hack option and stop messaging app. So that's cool. Um, anyways, now the phone has completely finished while we were waiting and, um, let's get out of this web page here. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Alright, so now this is really important before we reboot our phone. Once you hit go back, we're going to go on down to wipe data factory reset. 
and we're going to go ahead and what I actually am going to be doing is unplugging this now. Just like that. Alright. And we're going to click wipe factory. We're going to go ahead and go down to delete all user data. And yes. All right, data wipe complete, sweet. Now we can go ahead and reboot our phone. So we're gonna go to reboot system now, which is already selected right then and there. Go ahead and press enter on that. And so while that's rebooting, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video and um, probably return to, actually, no, I'm going to keep it going just so we can all see what the Ginger Blur boot screen looks like together. Alright, so there's the Ginger Blur boot screen, that's cool. Instead of a red M, it was a, it's a green one. Alright, well I'm pretty sure that's about as good as it gets for the boot screen, um, but of course we can always load some boot screens later on now that we're rooted. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now and um, we'll come back on um, and, and go through a couple of things just before we're done uh, to finalize this uh, section of the guide. Alright guys, so we're back, it's done booting up. Um, this is the screen that you will come to. Um, always, always, seven can't stress this enough, you must click set up first. And what we're going to need to do is set up the modal blur just like we did the first time with the SBF. If we don't do this, it is going to cause some serious problems down the road, so uh, I can't stress that enough. Alright guys, so now that we've finished completing the um, modal blur uh, setup, um, I just wanted to uh, go over a couple of things with you guys. Um, you'll notice that when you when when the phone boots up just before you hit setup, um, it will give you a force close for um, swipe. That's normal. This is what we're going to be um, using Seven's uh, blur patch for. This will address a whole lot of issues. So, but we'll get to that in the next video. Um, also. Uh, Ginger Blur has a bit of a startup bug. Um, once you're done and the very last screen of setting up uh, Moto Blur, um, it'll, uh, it'll it'll keep bouncing you between. So you'll click done and then it'll bounce you to the previous screen. You'll keep going back and forth. Um, what I do to fix that is turn off the phone and I just pull the battery. Leave the phone and the battery apart from each other for 30 seconds. Put it back in, reboot, and you should end up with the uh, lock screen once it reboots. Um, Another thing is that once it reboots, it's probably going to ask you at some point to um, to accept the update, the over-the-air update. It's going to want you to update the phone. Just click no or later. Um, we'll deal with that again with the blur fix, uh, with the blur patch. That'll that'll address that because you don't want to accept the update. If you do, you're going to bung everything up. Um, so just wanted to just just wanted to touch base on that, but. Uh, so if that's the end of the, this part for this guide. Um, the next part we're going to jump into the uh, uh, applying the blur fix patches. Um, it's going to uh, fix some compatibility issues with Gray Blur, Ginger Blur, and uh, like Seven says, it's going to enable a lot of performance tweaks and some uh, and and the goodies that I was talking to you guys about before. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop this guide now, uh, this part now, and uh, we'll we'll meet you in the next one.